Hello, hello, it's Dumplet here. Here's part 8 of 25 of the College Entrance Test Review. Credits to the Review Masters for providing me with these items. To continue, item 29. If m minus 4 equals 9, then 3m plus 5, sorry, sorry, 3m minus 5 equals blank. Now, this is just a very simple algebra item. So we have the given condition m minus 4 equals 9, so we're going to solve for m. So m minus 4 equals 9, we add 4 to both sides. So this negative 4, we can put it on the other side. So it's going to be plus 4. So we're, we're going to have m equals 9 plus 4. So we're going to get m equals 13. So all we have to do is substitute 13 into this equation. So we're going to have 3 times the value of m, which is 13, minus 5. So 3 times 13, that's 39. So we're just, we're just going to have 39 minus 5, which gives us 34. So we have choice D for this item. For item 30, the point with coordinates negative 5, 3 is in quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4. Now, recall that in the Cartesian plane, along the x-axis going to the right, going to the right is the positive, going to the, going to the left is negative, and then along the y-axis going up is positive, and then going down is negative. So we start from the origin, and then we're going to go towards negative 5, 3. So since we're going to go to the left because x is negative, so we're going to move left, and then 3 is positive, so we're going to go up. So since we're moving left and up, we're going to end up in this quadrant, and this quadrant is quadrant 2. Now recall that these are the four quadrants. So quadrant 1 is the top left, sorry, top right corner, and then we're going to have this counterclockwise. Uh, rotation for the other quadrants. So negative 5 comma 3 is somewhere in quadrant 2. So we're going to have choice B. For item 31, if A and B are both odd numbers, then which of the following must be an odd number? Now this item involves variables. Now a common trick here is we can just simply uh, let values of A and B be some values that are uh, odd because it's going to satisfy. So let's try to make a and b both equal to 1. So choice a, a plus b becomes uh, 1 plus 1, and this gives us 2. So it's not an odd number, so we can immediately cross this item out already. Now item b, it's going to be a times b, so 1 times 1 plus 1, and that gives still 2. So 1 plus 1, that's still 2, so it's not choice b. Now choice c, we're going to have 2 times 1 plus 4 times 2, so it's going to give us 2 plus, sorry, not 4 times 2, 4 times 1. This gives us 2 plus 4, and that gives us 6, so it's actually wrong. So, well, A, B, C are crossed out, so it must be the case that D must be the answer. So, just to verify, let's try A plus B plus 3. It's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 3, and this gives us 5. And this is indeed an odd number. So since A, B, and C are wrong, then we're sure that it must be choice D. So that's how you do, uh, eliminate, these, eliminate the first three choices. Item 32, last week Vince read, from, Vince read from page 139 to page 225 inclusive, meaning 139 to 225. So uh, in his history book, how many pages did he read? Now, uh, we have a misconception this, uh, with regards to these items, it's just that we just take the difference. So the answer shouldn't be just taking a difference because if you recall, if we count from 1 to 4, it's 4 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, and then 4 numbers. But if we just take the difference of 4 and 1, that's actually just 3. So in fact, we must have the plus 1 here. We must have the plus 1. So we just take the difference and then we add 1 to get uh, the number of pages that he read. So in this example, since we are reading from, sorry, since Vince read from page 139 to 225, the number of pages he read should be equal to the difference, and then we add 1 to the difference. So 225 minus 139, that's equal to 86, and then we don't forget to add 1. So this is the crucial part, and we're going to get 87. So we have choice B for this item. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in part 9. Bye bye!